Hi, my name is Joel Gordon. I'm with the Museum of Discovery, and we are talking about STEAM. That's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And today, we're going to talk about persistence of vision. Persistence of vision is a phenomenon. Phenomenon is a great word. It's a word scientists use when we don't quite understand what's going on. But we're going to talk about it anyway. Persistence of vision. So here's how a cartoon works. You have a picture, and then another picture, and a picture after that, and every picture is just a little bit different from the picture in front of it. If you rush these pictures past your eyes at the right speed, it looks like one moving image. So before we had movies, we had the penny arcade. And in the penny arcades, they had zoetropes. This is a zoetrope. So we'll take our pictures, make them into a loop, and then place it inside the zoetrope. When I spin the zoetrope, and look through the slits in the side, I can see a moving picture. You want to look? So as we turn the image, you see shadows and light, shadows and light. Anything slower than 16 frames a second, and our eyes can perceive a difference in the pictures. So let's speed it up. Movies run at about 24 frames a second. And in fact, the latest technology runs at 48 frames a second. And that's how we get a moving picture. There's all kinds of ways that you can observe persistence of vision. And you know how much I love electronics. So I built something. This is a little kit piece that I got from Radio Shack. It's provided through Make Magazine. If you're interested in buying one, you can get online. I put this together over the weekend. Here's what it does. When I turn it on, the lights flash. Not very interesting, right? But with persistence of vision, we see something completely different. So did you see it? Steam. All from a lot of little flashing lights. Pretty cool, right? So that's persistence of vision. If you're interested in becoming an animator when you grow up, look at animation online, see what cartooning is all about, or get into some electronics and try that too. I'm Joel Gordon. I'm with the Museum of Discovery. You've been watching STEAM, Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. If you like me, like me. And make sure you leave a comment. Then I'll know what to talk about next time. And Subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later.